Hi guys and welcome to another how to video. You may have watched me do the dishes without a dishwasher or even how I did a cheese and ham sandwich. Well in this one we're going to be doing the clothes. We're going to wash them and dry them. Let's get straight into it. So when washing clothes it's all about weapons of choice again. First we have the what we call the the tab which is basically full of washing liquid this is um, this will dissolve in the washing machine releasing the liquid within so that's your washing element the next thing you'll need a colour catcher this is um, essential for all washes really except probably white this vanish soap will get rid of very stubborn stains and finally you may want to consider putting a drop of this stuff in the fabric conditioner so with all those things in mind let's prepare the washing machine within the washing machine I put a colour catcher at the bottom that's the white sheet with the washing tab on top of it that'll keep hold of the colour catcher next up we're going to open this drawer at the side of the washing machine to put in a cap's worth of fabric conditioner that'll go into this compartment there so now what are we going to put in the wash machine what sort of clothes things to consider colour know your own clothes as you can see I've got various colours here going in but mostly they should be alright together that's blacks and greys and blues in both underpants and socks as well as trousers and other things blanket there, there's a little blanket and then the tops again a couple of those there with a bit of colour in them but again it's mostly blues and greens and and greys so again they should be okay but I'm not going to risk it so a colour catcher has been added to the washing machine. I've noticed that I need to use this on this shirt. The stain here on the shirt will not go by that washing tab alone. It'll need this to sort it out. The vanish is a soap in this instance. You can get powder stuff, but I prefer to use this to get any stains out. All you have to do with this is rub it vigorously on the material where the stain is with very hot water and once it soaps up rub the material material together to form up a very highly foamed thing I've been vigorously rubbing the vanish soap onto this top but I'm not sure whether it's still gonna work so we're gonna have to put it in the wash machine as it is it's pretty soaked up let's see if it works Later on, I'll be showing you how to dry the clothing. So I've dropped that in on top of the tab. So that's gone in on top of the tab and the colour catcher so that it holds everything in place because you don't want the colour catcher to escape the clothes as it's tumbling round. So that should hold it in. Another thing to consider before you put anything in the wash machine is the labelling. If it says 40 degrees on the label and this is what the label looks like then you'll be fine to put them all together in the same tumbling yeah but if one says 30 do not put that in with a 40 degree wash they must be separated now another thing I've done here if we go to the washing machine here I've tried not to overload it I've tried to basically put in as much as I can put on the area when you come to dry the clothing. Don't overload it. See what the capacity is and put in as much clothing as you can do to that, whatever it is. Setting the dial now. So we've set it at 40 degrees and it's asking me to shut the door now. So that's that. And the only thing to do now is start it. And there you have it. In fact, the only item that I wasn't be able to get in was this blanket thing that I'll save for another time. 
So that's that process all up and running. It's away there. It'll probably take about a couple of hours or so. So let's rejoin this in the drying process. So we're at the drying stage, guys. As you can see here, this is my era. Here's the clothes to dry. SNC pants on the bottom, on the bottom rungs. If you can get a pair of socks at the side, more the better. Do you get the gist? Pants and socks are there on the bottom, yeah? Watch how it builds up. Pants and socks are on bottom rungs. Next up, pegs, clothes pegs. Get it? Two per top. I have six tops. I have four trousers, I've got six rungs, which means I only need to use four of the middle rungs. I'm hanging them, I'm hanging them like that, from the bottom of the shirt, not from the top. Middle rungs done. Tops. I've got two tops to go to the top, rungs. I have three, no, four pairs of trousers. Hang them from the ankles. All done, complete. All in line, they'll dry easy the way they've done there. Tops in the centre, trousers on top, pants and socks on the lower rungs. All done, complete, there you go. And it didn't take it long. There's no excuse for anybody not to be able to do that lot. That's washing and drying of clothes. See you on the next one. I don't know, I'll have to think of something. Tell me what to do. See if I can pick out a household chore that I haven't done yet. So leave a comment, leave a suggestion, subscribe, hit the bell, all that lot. See you on the next one. Bye for now.